wanted to create a brief introduction to our project this week, um, mostly because I wanted to give you a little history about it, how it's evolving as it's taught uh, in this course uh, year after year, and advancements with it, um, hopefully to bring you along as a participant in that development and help us to um, explore and find new ways of uh, presenting this information um, to future classes. So I will, to start with that, let's take a look at the history of this. Um, we've talked about rain screen designs. And with all of our projects, what I try to do is reinforce that by actually going into the modeling environment and creating something. So um, in previous um, um, uh, years, I've had you make a, um, a conceptual model or a, a massing model where you've created each one of the individual elements and you found that very useful. Let me uh, zoom in here a little bit. We actually um, took PDF files from the manufacturer of the profiles that were accurate to scale and then um, used those to create all of our extrusions of our components and then built up the system and made a presentation. And that was fine. It actually well received. Students enjoyed it, felt they learned a lot. Um, but the problem I had was it wasn't really a BIM uh, compatible, so to speak. It, it wasn't a wall. You couldn't easily insert a window system into it. Um, you had to ma manipulate uh, discrete components. And I found that to be a little bit uh, disturbing and really didn't have a solution for quite a while. Uh, but last year, the year before, I, I did have some time to start thinking about it. And it occurred to me that one way to solve that problem was to conceptualize the panel as its own discrete piece of a curtain wall element. Um, and, you know, the, the, the failure in my thinking was I'd always thought about curtain wall systems as panelized systems, obviously, but with large expanses of glass or some other element within them um, laying out a system. Um, but it was uh, only through experimentation that I really kind of became aware that I could actually make that curtain wall panel um, as small as an individual tile uh, in a rain screen or panel if it was a metal system or whatever other kind of material it was, um, and then detail back through that system in order to create all the parts and components. And I hope you'll understand why it's important to detail all those components um, for you to just actually better understand the way things go together to help you with the construction documents and to help you um, uh, deal with some of the aesthetics that happen when we, we deal with these panelized um, terracotta and other rain screen systems. So like I said, this is nothing more than a curtain wall, but once we start populating it with our general panel, we can continue to use this as, as, as if it was any other drawing tool within the BIM model, and it's all handled and dealt with as a uh, compliant um, building information model component, a family element, so to speak. And actually, if we were to bounce out to that, I can show you what that family element looks like. This is the family element. There are a few kind of neat features with it. We have um, void extrusions on the end that allow us to, um, to do the cutting um, where we come to corners, either inside or outside corners. I've uh, created multiple panels within the system. In, um, in the file I supply, I'll leave the flat panel, but you'll create a couple of custom uh, shape panels um, so that you can uh, explore your own ideas uh, with these rain screen systems. But it also has the insulation, the Z-Gert, um, if I roll up here and zoom in, you can see we have the clip, actually the, the rubber grommet that goes around it. So this is a hugely detailed um, um, wall assembly. And that helps you a great deal when we come to ideas about what happens at the section. So when we zoom in here, you'll notice that the section has all kinds of rich detail about where the panel sits, where the Z-Gert sits, where the insulation systems are, and all of that. And by modifying any single component, you know, as you know with BIM, that will populate through the whole thing. So if your wall system had to get a little bit thicker because you made, made a larger, deeper um, Z-Gert um, to add insulation, um, you wouldn't be drawing massive amounts of wall assemblies. So um, with that in mind, once again, I, I kind of wanted to tie this up by kind of helping you to understand why this is valuable to go through this experiment. Um, one is, um, it creates all your details as we just discussed. Um, it allows us to be creative because we can go in and replace these panels with some custom shapes and start to create patterns and variations within the assemblies. Because it's a curtain wall system, we can also adjust these mullion lines so we can make our panels any length and width that we want to. And then most importantly, it's this understanding of what happens when we place window systems in these types of uh, panelized or modular systems. Um, where the parting line happens, where does, where does the window end? Um, we deal with the extreme depth of these rain screen wall assemblies because the insulation is on the exterior and there's an air gap. 
uh, these systems are very deep. So we can start to think about where we place the glazing um, to create all kinds of significantly different effects. For instance, if we place the glazing at the front, the whole face surface becomes very planar. If we start to carve in with depth, um, it creates a much different kind of aesthetic. So we have a, a lot of uh, places to learn um, and experience this system uh, by getting into these details. And I think it'll make us all better designers for having done that. So um, in the next few clips, we'll start to go through the details of building up and populating and understanding the system better. Um, so in the end, you can come up with some clever ideas and new innovations on your own.